Hi everybody, welcome back to The Journey Coach. This is Dr. Tammy Mosier. And we're gonna talk a little bit today about master tags and how you can actually tag the work that you're doing in Notion. This, I'm gonna come out from the perspective of how you could do it for your research database and or then across the entire Notion usage. So I'm gonna start with showing you my master tags and how I have them set up and why I think they're so useful. And you can, of course, create a select or a multi-select field and add tags in it for every database you have. The challenge with that is that is contained within that particular database and is not useful across all of your projects, action items, calendars. When you create a master tag database, you can create that relationship to everything else you're doing and then you get something like this. So this is my master tag system at this particular point. And I can go through and you'll see all these relationships set up. I can actually delete that because I don't use the files. And you see across here that I've got it connected to my action items, my appointments, my projects, um, publication, the research action items and research projects. And so each of these master tags can connect to any of those areas because I create that relationship with my master tag database to all of these other databases. So for instance, if I go in and click into teaching as a master tag and I open that page, I've got action items, I have got appointments that I've tagged as teaching. I've got projects that have a tag as te of teaching on there. And that allows me to see, if I open this as a page, everything that is related to teaching across my databases. And of course, you can use multiple master tags on anything. So if I go into, for instance, this action item, and this was something I needed to do, right? I've, it's tied to two different projects. It's got two master tags on it. So I will also find this in the college master tag page. So what this really starts to allow you to do is get a better overall picture surrounding certain areas, uh, not areas, but tagging tags in your system. So this is what mine looks like right now. I've got a service tag so I can see all of the appointments and the action items and the projects that I've got tagged with that. So this gives you kind of an overview of how master tagging looks and this is tied to my entire system. So let's switch over and we'll go back to the templates I created for research, right? So in our Notion 07 video, we went over this template and looked at how you could do your research projects, research notes, actions, items, and materials. So I went ahead and added one additional component to this at the bottom. So if you go now to get this template, this will also be there and available for you, or you could recreate it in your own system. So what I'm gonna do now is I wanna create a relationship with my research materials. And so here it is right here. So I'm gonna click on that, create relationship, and I wanna change that, right? So that's gonna be my actual research materials. And then if we go up here to research materials, you'll see it's now added that relationship as a master tag to the very end, right? And so now I want one that is for my action items. Same thing, gonna go up here and create a relationship. And I went the research action items. And so there they are. And now it's right here. If I go up here, it's added to the end. So let's do it. We'll do it real quick for the um, notes so that you've actually got all of these in here and you wouldn't have, you're gonna use this template to begin with. You won't have to recreate all of this. Notes. And then one more, and this is actually gonna be the projects so it can be connected to that. Now, what this makes in terms of its usefulness overall is that I can now create names for tags, whatever they need to be for me. 
Uh, so I started here and just kind of popped in a few. This is also very useful if you are also tagging your course notes. So you want to tag a particular lecture and it is over leadership. So I might tag it leadership as in it covers leadership as general and servant leadership. Um, it also might be if you're teaching in the natural sciences, this might be a lecture over the cardiovascular system. And maybe there's a few other things, physiology, that type of thing you want to couple that with. So you can add these tags right here. And then as I go through every project, every note, every action item, every material item, and anywhere else I want to connect this to. So this could be connected to my notes and ideas. It could be connected to my knowledge database. Um, I really have some options here beyond just this system. Or I can keep it completely contained and these master tags only relate to research and the materials that are associated with that. But what that will allow me to do then is open this page and any action item that's related to a qualitative methodology, any project that I've connected and it's got qualitative methodology as its um, data analysis methods, any research materials, articles, podcasts, white papers, gray literature, anything like that that is in a qualitative methodology, that would be here, any notes related to that. And so same thing with all of these. So you can really create this tag system to be as complex as you want it to be. But that means anytime I want to go in and I go, you know, I just want to see all the journal articles that I've pulled that are qualitative. I want to look over the qualitative methodology on other research studies that have been done that are related to the type of research I do. I would just need to go open this page. And that gives me, that would, that would pull up any of my research materials that are qualitative. I could also do a sort, a group, a filter of my research materials database using master tags. So that's related here. So I can filter, sort, do any of that that I want to do related to that particular, a particular tag. And I can add a f another filter, right? I can do a series of filters that is related all to master tags. And I want everything that's qualitative that is about the cardiovascular system, everything that's quantitative about the cardiovascular system, everything that's qualitative about leadership. And then this particular, my research materials would filter down to just pull those up for me. So the master tags are incredibly useful that way. Now, I could have just a select field here and do a select or a multi-select and set up tags, right? And it would look like the little picture here, right to the, to the right of this, right? And, and it would list on there. We have that already set up in the type. So you'd get this kind of list, right? Where you can pick one or multi-select and have multiple tags. But I can use it as a filter and a sort, but I cannot open a page like I can with the master tag and get a picture of everything that's related to that. I can't use that, what I put here, I can't just copy this and have it show up in action items and those type, those areas that I've also got here. This is unique to this. So what I'll say is when you're looking at whether to invest your time in a master tag system or invest it in just a field to select or multi-select a tag, I think you need to think through how you want to connect these items. And for me, I would rather just have the master tags because I can still do the sort and filter. But what it also gives me is all this other functionality. And I, of course, can add other items to the master tag database that I want to add to these particular areas. So your flexibility with the master tag system is much greater. So it's my recommendation when you're looking at setting up your overall notion system that you use master tags and we could debate and go back and forth on whether you just want a master tag system directly related to your academic content like this example or whether you want one that is like the system i've set up for myself where it is a database i connect to my overall notion system you could do it either way 
So I think it just comes down to how you want to actually pull this together as a whole. Uh, using kind of our overview from before uh, in our last conversation surrounding why do you have a separate research database, it might make sense to keep the master tags for research or academic content in one area as well, just to keep it cleaner um, so that your lists don't get as long, right? And if you got the personal ones and then you've got the ones that are content academic content related those two different databases stay smaller and that could be useful just for your overall management of your system i hope this was helpful and that you really can see the usefulness of the master tag system and if you're transitioning from something like evernote you're already using tags so you can really take those tags and i would take them and consider when you look at them do they need a page like this because you can also combine and have, have a master tag system for these larger categories where you really want to track how it's connected to everything. And then you might have some multi-select or select fields that are very specific to that particular database or area that you don't need to do anything else with or aren't looking to have used across multiple databases. So your tags in an Evernote system could possibly be split into two different sections. The ones you want to use for master tags across everything and the ones that are very specific to particular areas that can just be a select or multi-select tag. So I would make that analysis before you start as well. But this is such a flexible system, you can really move stuff around as you see necessary. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to help you. Have a great week and I'll talk to you next time.